All right then gang, so I've been thinking about doing this series for a little while now. It's something I've wanted to do at least over the past few months and now I'm just glad I can finally get around to doing it. And it's going to basically be a series of coding challenges ranging from easy to difficult and then you can just pick and choose which ones that you fancy having a go at. And I'll be adding new challenges to the series every now and then to keep it fresh and going for a long time. And the way I'm going to do this is by posting a video for the challenge itself and then another video the next day probably which is going to be the solution to that challenge or at least one of the many possible solutions because we all know there's very rarely only ever one way to code something right so some of the challenges are going to be more design focused using CSS and HTML some of them are going to be more to do with processing data and using algorithms to solve problems and some might be a mix of everything together and one of the reasons I wanted to create this series is because a lot of the time it's easy to get caught up in just watching video tutorials over and over again and not really thinking about how different problems might be solved. So hopefully to go alongside your tutorial binge watching, you can sometimes try out some of these challenges that I'll be putting up as well to kind of help cement your knowledge if you like. Now I'm going to start with a couple of nice design ones and this first challenge in particular is going to be to create a nice sliding menu a bit like this one on the Cafe Nero website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So I would expect before you attempt this challenge that you have at least a basic understanding of those three things. If not, definitely check out my tutorial series on all those three topics first of all and I'll leave the links to all of them down below this video. So let me just switch to my own version of this which I created earlier and you can see that it's a totally stripped back version but when I click on the burger icon we get the menu sliding in and the animation of the burger to a cross as well and then when I click on the cross everything goes back to the original state. So this is what I'm going to be challenging you to create and I have prepared a starting point for you with some of the basic code already prepared so let me just show you how to get that now. So all the challenges are going to have a starter project which you can download from this GitHub repo right here, Coding Challenges. The link to this is going to be down below the video. And don't worry, you don't need to know anything about GitHub in order to get the starter projects. They're really simple to download. So basically each video in this series is going to have its own branch on this GitHub repo and that branch will contain the code for that video. So for this video, challenge one, you'd select the challenge one start branch up here from the branch drop down and this branch represents the starting point of the challenge where I want you to begin. You can see down here it contains an index page, a CSS page and a JavaScript file as well. So to download this starter project, just hit the green code button up here and then select download zip and that's going to download a zip folder of this starter project. So then I've downloaded that zip folder right here. So if we go into that, we need to extract everything. So do that first of all, hopefully it's just going to take a couple of seconds. And then when that is done, this is the folder right here that we want to open up in VS Code. You can see we have the CSS file right there, the HTML file and the JavaScript file. So if we just right click and open with code, we should get VS Code to open that up. All right, so this, my friends, is our starter project. Now, I just want to quickly walk you through these starter files. So let's start with the index.html file. And right here we have a head tag and inside that a few meta tags, not really important in regards to this challenge. Then we have a link tag, which is linking to a style sheet index.css. And we'll take a look at that in a second. We also have a title as well. Now down in the body, we have a div with a class of menu. And this is where all of your own HTML code for this challenge is going to go. So you're going to put some HTML in here for the top title bar or the header where the title is and the little icon, the burger nav icon. And then also the code for the slide out navigation is going to go in here as well. So that's where you're going to be putting your own HTML code. Now below that, we have a main tag with some dummy lorem ipsum just to kind of bulk up the page a little bit. And then at the bottom, we have this script linking to the index.js file. And that's where all of your custom JavaScript is going to go, which is going to control the functionality of the menu sliding out. All right. So that's the index.html file. Then we have this index.js absolutely blank for now. But like I said, all of your JavaScript logic to control the sliding in and the sliding out of the menu is going to go in here. And then finally, the index.css file, just some base styles, really. We have 
this right here, which is an import from the Google Fonts library, and that's importing this Poppins font, which we're using in the body. We strip away the margin and also give it a background of dark gray as well. Then any li and ul, we say list style type none, padding zero, and then the main tag, we give some padding and a color of a light gray for the text, all right? So there's some base styles. Now your solution styles should go down here. So we can do any kind of styles for the title bar or the side navigation that slides in right here. And then if you wanna kind of separate your styles so you can style the open state of the menu differently from the closed state and then any transitions down here. You don't have to do it in these three different sections. I just thought I'd maybe organize it a little bit for you if you did, all right? So this is like I said, the starter project, and I'm gonna now preview this in a browser. Now to do that, I'm using a package for VS Code called Live Server. So you can search for that up here, Live Server. Now I've already got it installed. So you can see Live Server, this is the package you need. Just install it right here. Then once you have that, you can right click on any HTML file and open with Live Server. So if I do that, then we can see this is the starter project right here. So you need to make that top title at the top, that title bar with the Bergenav icon. Then when we click on that, it opens up in navigation. When we click on the cross, it slides it back out again. So remember, this is what I want the final project to look like. And there's three key elements in this that I want you to focus on. The first one is just the sliding in and out of the menu when we hit the icon. The second one is the animation of the Bergenav icon into the cross and vice versa as well. So think about how you can do that. And the third one is how the burger and the cross icons sit at the very top of everything else on the page. So when I slide out the nav bar, although the nav bar hides the title bar underneath it, the burger or the cross icon stays on top, always visible. So have a good go at this, see what you can come up with and feel free to leave a link to your solutions down below in the comments. Now, as for the difficulty rating of this one, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. I was originally gonna go with five, but I thought that there's a couple of CSS problems in this challenge you kind of have to dig a little deeper on, so I upped it to a six. Anyway, my solution is gonna be coming tomorrow, so stay tuned for that and good luck having a go yourself.